wants this stuff? I mean, do you really, really want me to do this? I, yeah, I can do it. Turns into drone, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Perry the Drone. Did you know the drone program is strictly illegal? Hey, get on the web or I'll blow you away. Did you know that the drone strikes target rescuers and funerals? Is that why our embassies are being attacked and our ambassadors killed? Even as I, Perry the Drone, speak? Did you know that drone strikes were once so secret they didn't even admit they were happening? And yet they were being multiplied many times over like an evil cancerous cell. Your president, Barack Obama, the more effective evil, has claimed the right to kill U.S. citizens. Doesn't get much more evil than that. And I say this as a drone. People don't understand us drones, you know. It's not our fault. Welcome to Boston's barely tolerated Perry Logan and another wonderful show of this one called The More Effective Evil. The phrase more effective evil comes from the Black Agenda Report, which argues that Barack Obama is doing far more damage than any Republican could. And Perry agrees completely. Hence the title, The More Effective Evil. Things are more neocon than ever. We find ourselves neck deep in neocon stuff with a neocon healthcare bill, a neocon foreign policy, a neocon economy in which the rich continue to suck the lifeblood from everyone else. This, my friends, after four years of Obama, the misery index going up, poverty rates going up, income disparity going up, banks bigger than ever, don't you get it? No Republican could have accomplished so much. No Republican could have done the Republic half so much damage. Not even dog on the roof Romney, whom we love. September 13th, 2012. <laughs> it be dark and stormy times for the American Republic. Methinks the American Republic may be close to sinking. We are in the middle of a, a god-awful presidential election in which uh, most of the American people, in my opinion, want both candidates to shut up and go away. That's my theory. God knows we're sick of Republicans. God knows we've had enough of Mitt Romney's gaffes, goofs, and oafish blunders. The man is clearly the worst campaigner in the history of bad campaigners. <laughs> dog on the roof, dog on the roof. <laughs> dog on the roof. Ah, and yet, methinks 
This most feckless and hapless of right-wingers, this man, Mitt Romney, whom I love, and whom I affectionately call Dog on the Roof, Yay! may be the next commander-in-chief, may soon have dictatorial powers, some of which this other guy we're trying to get rid of, Barack Obama, gave him. Arr! Arr! <laughs> Can you say R? Come on, I say R. Come on, I want you to say R. Among other things, United States embassies are under assault. Here on September 13th, 2012, it's not pretty to look at, okay? Our embassies are under attack. I don't understand it. Arr. Can you say R? I want you to say R right now. Arr. I said R. Our embassies are under attack. An ambassador has been killed. Do you think it's the drones? Yes. I think it's the drones. Is that you, Obama? Yes, it's me, Barack Obama. I have been transformed by an evil spell into an empty chair. Methinks the citizens of the world are just a little miffed at me because of all those drones. Arr! You're sending out a lot of drones, Obama! That's right. Even as I sit here, I'm sending out drones to kill people. Arr! Don't. That's bad. That's evil. It's no wonder it's such a dark and stormy night. The Black Agenda Report argues that in this election year, where we're, we're kind of used to uh, picking the lesser of two evils. This is a, a, a phrase uh, known painfully to most people who are into politics in the slightest way, uh, is that you always find yourself voting for candidates that uh, just really aren't, aren't really going to give you what you want. And people talk about this and they bemoan it. I'm voting Democratic, someone will say, because it's the lesser of two evils. Huh. And it's, it's not something I'm sneering at either. It's a commonly heard, but it, it has some, some merit, I would have to admit. See how fair I am? Uh, you mean you don't see how fair I am? Let's hear it for how fair I am. Oh. Bob. Bob. I've, I've killed, killed the, the audience. audience. Bob. I've killed the audience. Again. Okay. That was not real. That was not real, but this is. We vote like this. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, how well the two-party system is working for us. Is that while there are still some folks who are gung-ho Democrats and gung-ho Republicans, we now recognize these are kind of stupid people. <laughs> these are the stupid people, all right? Well, what, what, neither party is giving us what we want. We want a lot of things, and uh, it's clear that uh, the Democrats will say they'll give it to you. I mean, things like the end of the wars, and pull back that empire, and cut off the drones, and get strengthen that safety net, get a single payer health insurance. Vote for me, you'll get all these things. Oh, and some government stimulus, government stimulus money to jack up the economy. Everybody knows. All the sane people know that's what we need. And the, the voters kind of want it. They want all this stuff. That's the weird part. We have, we've had a Democrat in there. Forget his name. 
love the guy, we had him in there, but you see things are worse than ever. The embassies are being attacked, the median income is going down, the poverty rate is going up, and the drones are killing people everywhere. They're killing people everywhere, and this is evil. Uh, and that's, that brings us back to the more effective evil. Everyone is getting ready, you know, not everyone. <laughs> the few people who care are getting ready to vote again or, you know, try to vote. It's just, it's insane. It's, the whole scene is, is really quite insane. <laughs> uh, but people are getting, uh, gearing up to vote, uh, and many of them for the lesser of two evils. And the ones I'm concerned with are the ones who think Obama is the lesser of the two evils. Between dog on the roof, guy we love, dog on the roof around me, and uh, dog eat dog Obama, if you will. I did not eat dog. Yes, you did, Obama. I saw you eat dog. I did not eat dog, damn it. Well, uh, the Black Agenda Report, in a nutshell, uh, made the argument. You can find it on the web. I'm not connected with the Black Agenda Report in any way, but I was, uh, the argument really echoed what I thought, totally. I've been arguing, oh, I don't know, since the beginning of time. Feels like the beginning of time, right? That, uh, uh, that Obama was going to do, let's put it this way, more damage. My way of putting it was that Obama is doing more damage. Well, first of all, because he's doing what I, essentially right-wing stuff. This is a point. I cannot emphasize this too strongly, but I'll try. I'll try! Okay, that adds to the old credibility, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I cannot emphasize too strongly that I am in total agreement with the Black Agenda report that Obama is and has done in four years far more damage, okay, he's done more damage to things we love. Oh, human rights, the reputation of the United States, the office of the presidency, the uh, credibility of the Democratic Party. I say the credibility of the Democratic Party. It's enough to make you go, Arrgh! Let me hear you say, Arrgh! Yeah, it's enough to turn you into a pirate. I don't know. That, uh, uh, we live in a totally neocon world. We, we live in a world where the one percenters are getting everything they want, only more so, and the rest of us are getting squeezed, only more so. Now, how can this be when uh, Obama was elected almost 100% on the premise that he was going to turn it around? I, that's the way I see it. We, we'd, we'd had it. Almost all of us had had it. But the, the Republican thing was clearly going to kill us all. We watched New Orleans get hit that way. and Scales fell from our eyes. Okay. So, what happened in a nutshell is that Obama tore off the rubber mask uh, revealing a neocon beneath. And uh, that was kind of bad, you see, but the problem was, uh, I just don't think the left picked up on this. They were in denial. You know how it is. I mean, look, I understand. I understand, my fellow lefties. It might be safe to say I can peer into the deepest depths of the cowering, craven, stupid souls! You stupid idiots! I tried to warn you about Obama! You fool! Did I just call everyone a fool? I was gonna try not to do that. Kinda shows your hand, doesn't it? Now I... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm a guy who claims not to have bought into Obama's act. This is where I'm coming from. I think my conclusion is that he is a very right-wing guy. Okay? That's all I'm saying. He's a very right-wing guy, but the, the left were kind of like denying it. I think you've done that. I mean, I've been there, haven't you? Oh, I've been there, and you have too, I'm sure where you, you wanted to believe something, so you kind of, you know, 
BS yourself. You kind of like kidded yourself. It's, it, you know, I'm not, uh, it's not a sin to kid yourself or even to deny reality. And we've all been there, right? Uh, you know, it's not necessarily in politics. In any area of your life, you, we, we all just, just naturally cling to our beliefs, okay? I'm no exception. We do that, we're human, right? But, <laughs> well, this, I think, has uh, affected things badly for the left, who w clung to the idea that uh, Obama was a democratic guy in soul. Okay, let's put it this way, in, in his political spirit. They thought, they continued to think, no, he's a lefty, just something went wrong there in the translation. And we're like living in a total neocon paradise right now. And this is after four years. So that would make Obama a very effective evil, you see. He's been doing things in my opinion, doing things that a Republican would want to do. The drone strikes and the, did the wars. And, but in a nutshell, Obama's been able to do a lot of these things, which I regard as very Republican, if not neocon, because the, the left have been disarmed. The left have been neutralized. That would be uh, Obama's great accomplishment, don't you think? Uh, if if uh, George W. Bush had quadrupled or quintupled the number of killer drones. Uh, I'm pretty sure the left is some on the left, you know, in the peace movement, for heaven's sake. Come on, we're progressives. We're anti-war. Uh, they would have raised a big fuss, you know, and it would have been evil. And it's a very simple case of you're not going after him because he's on your side. Absolutely, what is going on among my fellow lefties in this perturbs and irks me. Well, it perturbs me and it perturbed the people at the Black Agenda Report who proclaimed Obama, not Dick Cheney. I know Dick Cheney keeps showing up to claim he's the baddest. Well, he was, you know, he should be in jail, what can I say? He made torture a household word. Is this sad? You're living in an age where torture, in a sense, is a household word here in the good old USA, okay? If that's your idea of how things should be going, get the hell into that book. No, wait! No! No! Hello, you miserable worms. This is Dick Cheney. Shut up, I'll shoot you in the face. Shut up, and I'll shoot you and yours in the face. Like this. I'm sorry, that was just a little thick. I'm okay now. I'm due for another heart. You don't happen to have a teenager with a heart in your house by any chance. Just kidding. You're watching another supernal Perry Logan show, this one called The More Effective Evil. And I, Dick Cheney, would just like to take a moment to affirm that I am the more effective evil. I am the Darth Vader of the American political world. I should bloody be in jail. Obama should have tried me for treason right off the bat. I shouldn't be wandering around shooting people in the face and writing books and doing talk shows. I should be in a prison doing life for treason. That makes me the most effective evil ever. <laughs> Thanks to me, torture is a household word in America. That wasn't true before me and that Texas simpleton got into power. Texas simpleton? I said Texas simpleton. Hey, Dick, I got you Texas simpleton right here. Thanks to you and me, American soldiers are at risk of being tortured all over the world. <laughs> that was us. Yeah, now shut up, you little wimp. I'm the most effective evil. Me, Dick Cheney, all right? All right, Dick. But I'm still the worst president who was never really president. Perry! What is it, Seamus? 
What is it, my little shimmy wimmy, my little shimmy wimmy? Perry, why do you agree with the Black Agenda report that Barack Obama is the more effective evil? That's a good question, little shimmy. <laughs> Simply put, uh, Obama can uh, do more damage to the Democrats than any Republican could. Think about it. Alright, I was trying to have fun. It's like laughing through our tears. Now look, my dog asked me a question and I'm gonna answer it. <laughs> oh, for one thing, a bad Democrat, I'm not being biblical or when I say Obama is the, the more effective evil. I'm not uh, talking about Obama's being an evil man or, or any of that, but the politics Okay, we're talking about the politics, as always. Uh, of course, you, you could, could consider, consider Obama's fans. Oh. Arr, Obama's fans! Now there's some charmers! <laughs> I first became aware of Obama in 2008 when I noticed that Democrats were calling one another racists, and I thought, what's this? Oh, hold on. Democrats are calling one another racists. Have I mentioned this is not pretty? Hey, lefties, have I mentioned it's really not that pretty to see you calling everyone racists? Well, they were calling one another. Well, come on, man. The Obama people were calling everyone else, i.e. most Democrats, racists. That's when it began. That's when the little rot in the heart of the Democratic Party began to grow, the little cancer we call Obamocracy. We call the Obamacrats, you see. That's how it all started. It was evil. It was pure political evil. That's how I know Obama is the more effective evil, goddammit. Ah! Well, thank you, Perry. And now, one more thing. What's that, shimmy Wamey? Throw the ball. I'm not gonna throw the ball. Come on, Perry, throw the ball. I'm not gonna throw the ball, and that's final. <laughs> Come on, Perry, throw the ball, throw the ball. Okay, I'm throwing the ball. Hey, I got some serious points to make here, and you keep fooling around. Because bad things are happening, like poverty going up uh, under the presumed tenure of a Democrat, well, this uh, messes up our resume. It's as simple as that. Uh, in many areas, Obama is messing up our resume. And I, I mean this, you know, in a very serious way, that uh, I used to brag, uh, I've done it on this, this show, uh, I've, I used to brag about a very real thing, which is that poverty does tend to go down under Democrats, up under Republicans. <laughs> so that made the Democrats not evil at all, I thought. Not the lesser of two evils, not evil at all. If the poverty rate is going down, that's good. That's all about it, you know? It's kind of one of the things I ask of the government. And I used to brag about it. Uh, poverty went down precipitously under Bill Clinton. Uh, Income went up at all levels under Bill Clinton. Go figure. Well, you see, I, I would brag about it and get into serious and heinous trouble for doing so, but it was just a, a stark case of bragging about a good record, and it's been messed up in like all kinds of areas. The Democratic resume has been seriously messed up. You can, now you can say, under Democrats, until Obama. <laughs> The poverty rate went down. Under Democrats, <laughs> until Obama, <laughs> the environment is somewhat protected. 
under Democrats <laughs> until Obama. <laughs> You could hope that human rights were being fought for and preserved. Instead, we get a whistleblowers being attacked. We get Bradley Manning being essentially tortured before he was even accused of anything, you see? Wow. That gets you well into the more effective of two evils category. Uh, or I'm a pirate. Rawr! The Democrats are no longer the lesser of two evils, don't you get it? I do. The Democrats are no longer the lesser of two evils. I get it. I don't get it. <laughs> no, I get it. The Democrats are no longer the lesser of two evils. Don't you get it? I said, get it.